we're really functioning. Um, my mom is having heart palpitation. A family in shambles. We first told you about Jared Shadid on Monday when family and friends reported the immigration attorney missing while he was on a trip to Seattle. Yeah, new developments overnight. We're told his car was reportedly just found in Los Angeles. And that's where we find reporter Gigi Graciat from our sister station in Los Angeles. Hi, Gigi. Good morning. We're in Atwater Village. This is not far from downtown Los Angeles, a residential neighborhood. And take a look. That is Jared Shadid's car found parked here on this block. And a parking ticket indicates it may have been here since about August 4th. The parking ticket, actually the date is already blurred off. But you can see the car there. And we're learning this morning that he left his keys inside the car. There's been no sign of him though. Now no word on why he would come to this block. Jared who's been missing since July 30th as you know he was last seen in your city in Seattle where he checked into an Airbnb took in his things and then seemingly disappeared. He left that day leaving behind his luggage his cell phone his computer. The only thing he reportedly took was his car. And we're not sure he even took his car if, or if it was somebody else. Now, concern is growing for his well-being, both mentally and physically, and they don't know who left the car here in Los Angeles because right now there is no video surveillance of the car being left here. Now, we're working on some leads that there possibly is an Airbnb on this block, and he may have wanted to go there, but apparently last night they did search a house, and he was not there. I spoke to his family today. They are distraught. They have no idea. No one has heard from him. They do believe he has his wallet uh, with him, so he may be using credit cards. But Seattle police apparently told the family they haven't pulled his financial records. They haven't been tracking his possible credit card usage. So, so far, no leads. We're really hoping that someone here in Los Angeles has seen him and will contact our local police department, the LAPD, and give them that lead they need to find this young man.